Miss your boy, Samantha Mixes Heavy 2, back again with another video, boys. How you been? How you been? You know me, I've been doing all right. Hopefully you have too. And today we have a video on why you need to pick up this deck right now. It's important to pick up this deck right now. Hold on, look at this card. Look, I've been I've picked it up. Where have you guys picked up? And I'll show you why you need to pick up Memento right now. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. As a quick overview of the cards that recently came out, obviously this deck came out the same time as Centurion, so it actually went very under the radar, but I got this new support. This is the TCG support, and we've got even new support with the OCG coming. So this is one of the new cards, it was, um, just call it Memento, Memento Twin Dragon basically, and basically any monster to show a battle with your Memento monsters is banished, you can use one of the effect, full effects of a Memento Twin Dragon once per turn. This card is Fusion Summon, you can destroy one Memento monster from your hand or face up on the field, and if you do, add two Memento monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. If this Fusion card is destroyed, you can special summon one level 6 or lower Memento monster from your graveyard. So this card's really good guys, because you can search two, and you usually destroy itself, and then you can summon one out. This is just a really good card, and it's actually helped the deck out a lot. Here we are into the next card that we got a support in Legacy of Destruction. So this is Memento Fusion. Obviously, like any card, any Octite with an inbuilt fusion, you know it's going to be a cold, guys. So during the main phase, fuse summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material, including a Memento monster. If a monster in your possession was destroyed by card effect this turn, you can sh also shuffle Memento monsters from your graveyard into the deck as material. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, destroy one monster you control, and if you do, add one Memento spell that's trapped from your deck to your hand. So guys, this card's crazy, right? Because the bit that makes this card really good, if a monster that you just if a mental monster was destroyed this turn, you can also use cards in the graveyard as material. And because all your cards destroy your own monsters, it that means this effect is always live. So you can always <laughs> fusion summon monsters directly from your deck so guys and that support alone has made this deck have a lot higher danger level in the current game right so with just these two support cards this deck's gotten a lot better but it's it's on a whole new level because hold on let's go on to the next card and now we go on to the ocg only cards right now once these come over guys these cards are cracked so here we have memento combined conqueror this is once again another extra card for the deck so three memento monsters this is usually, obviously, you, you'd summon this off of the, the fusion uh, spell. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one memento from your deck to your hand. You can activate the fallen effect memento combo creation on the chain. If this card is a uh, fusion spell, you can send three memento cards from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. Quick effect, you can target the same number of memento cards you control and cards your opponent could destroy them. So, one, it's got a destruction interruption for your opponent's turn, but this is such a good engine piece. Because usually off this you'd send a copy of itself because it can search like your field spell. And it also just puts cards into the graveyard which are very good considering your boss monster needs to shovel cards back from the graveyard. And it helps you extend. This card's really nice guys. And the other OCG only card currently is Memento Mystical Sheep. This card is amazing guys. If it's added to your hand you can special summon it out. So if a monster in your possession was destroyed by card effect this turn, quick effect. You can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can fusion summon one Memento Fusion monster from your extra deck. Use the monsters from your hand or first material. If this card is destroyed by battle or effect, you can send one Memento card from your deck to the graveyard except uh, sheep. So guys, this is another really strong card and it's really helping out the strategy because once again, it's a way to get your fusion um, monsters out, like your fusion boss monsters out, without needing the new fusion spell. So this is a really good extender, really good card. And anyway, guys, and this is why you need to pick this deck up right now, because now I'm going to show you the pricings currently. So first off, we have uh, Bone Party. This is a really good card, and you want it as a fear from the deck, but obviously, as this deck went under the radar, and it's an ultra rare kind of short print, it's like, it's not, there's not a lot of them going around. You guys want to pick this up now, because once that OCG support comes to the TCG, and this card starts getting recognition guys like these cards in my opinion are going to go up in price that's why i suggest you get them now so like, as you see here we're on a card market and currently they're averaging for about 13 pound 15 euros and then it goes up and up they, they average about 20 pound usually so you just want to pick up three copies now in my opinion if you do want to play this deck and also the artwork of this deck is really nice as well so i highly recommend you get these now that's why i'm making this video really for you guys so yeah and if we also check on eBay, the same thing, £20-ish average, so 
Well, that's a pretty good deal at oh, £2.70 shipping, but so you see what I mean though. It's an ultra rare, low print. If this deck does pick up, this card's going to get expensive. The next one, which is the other expensive card in the deck, is Anguish. This is a really good, it's one of your one card starters, so you do need this card. Once again, it's hovering at that £10, £15-ish mark. And if we check eBay, and if we check eBay, guys, as you see, it's also averaging that £20 mark as well. So I'll just pick this up because once again, it is one of those ultra rare copies that is kind of short print. I've picked up all my copies, guys, so I'm chilling. When this deck comes over and it cooks, just know that your boy is ready. But hold on, there's also for the collectors out there, if you do like the high rarity cards, this card does have a collector's rare version. This is more expensive, it's like averaging £30, so if you want to get the collector's rare versions, now is also probably the best time to do it. Next up, we have the Big Boss Monster. This card averages around £5, but I just thought I'd show you the Quarter Century Rare version. Because obviously, you want to play this deck in high rarity. Like I put, actually picked up one of these Quarter Century Rare versions. So, you know, you, you know your boy is going to be minted out. So, I, I want you guys to as well. Currently, it's only £20, €25 Euros on card market. But, obviously, if this deck does become good, I do think this card will also go up. And if we show you the eBay version, the eBay version is 20 Look at that. £50, so you can pick up. There's also a collector's rare version, but as you see, this is the cheap version I was on about. So if you just want the ultra rare version, this card isn't a instant pickup. Like, oh, I have to get this now, because this will always probably be pretty cheap. But if you do want this high rarity versions, like the collector's rare or the quarter century rare, I would pick that up now. And the final one I want to show you is Memento Dark Blade. This is, again, with the other one card size of the deck, because you summon this, and then you can uh, destroy it, and then summon out your Anguish. So it's basically just... Makes you have six copies of Anguish. It's just a great, really nice one card star. But before I show you the collector's rare version, because this again for the high rarity collectors out there, this is also one of those cards which has a collector's rare. So as you see, kind of expensive. They're averaging 26 euros, 24 pound ish. And if you're not worried about that, this card luckily is a really cheap, like super or ultra, I believe. I think I got all mine for like, I got all mine for like one pound. So hold on, let's see. I got them here. Look at that, boys! Boom, triple. I only I got the normal rarities, so I only got I got all of them for about I think a pound actually. So this one's only if you do like those high rarity versions. And then next up, I want to show you the potential of this deck. So obviously, a lot of this has just been talk, but as you see here, this is a current deck list of someone who actually got top four at a regional. So obviously, this was a top four at a regional. A in Hagatana YCQ regional. <laughs> Sorry if I butchered that name completely, guys. But yeah, so this is the TC version, TCG version of the deck. So as you can see, we've got the new support cards in Legacy of Destruction, you know, the Fusion Spell and Twin Dragon. But we don't have the OCG cards, and it's still got top four in a regional, guys. That's what I mean. Even without the OCG support, this deck's still good. So you should pick up these important copies of Bone Party and Anguish while you still can. Well, they're still on the cheap. And then also, guys, I thought I'd show you the OCG version. So obviously, look, if we check the deck list here, they've got the uh, Combined Conqueror and they've got the Sheep in here. So obviously, this is with the support. And it's just another example. It's got to top 33 at a championship series. So this deck has a lot of potential, guys. So I just thought I'd make a video this week. Obviously, it's nothing too crazy. Just a video kind of showing you this deck and what it, what it can do, man. Like, just warning you that these prices may go up. If this, this deck comes over to the... TCG and it starts doing well those ultra rares because they're the only copies and they're a pretty short print you want to pick them up now guys and finally guys I'm just going to show you kind of my deck list that I've run in so far so obviously we've got triple anguish one of the one card stars triple dark blade triple was we just call this zebra but because <laughs> its name is really long but also guys just look at the artworks for this deck that's might be another reason you want to pick up like this can be a contender deck like rogue tier maybe tier 2 maybe tier 1.5 you never know but, like, look at the artwork. So, this is a really cool deck to rock. But, yeah. So, there's your three ofs. And then, obviously, one of the big boy boss monster. Really nice boss monster. I'm running two sheep right now. I'm testing with it. A lot of people are running one. I already like kind of like this card at two. And then, we've got two mace. This is really cool because this card can <laughs> this card can take one of your opponent's monsters. So, it's actually a hand trap as well. One goblin. One uh, gartic. This is really nice. It's... Once in the graveyard, you can do some crazy stuff with it. Obviously, the triple bone party, just some hand traps for now. I'm also running super poly. I'm running both the spells. A lot of people are only running cranium burst, but I'm running both. Obviously, the triple fusion. And the next track, I've got the current new support, obviously, in the TCG and the OCG support. 
and then obviously some targets for Polly. This deck can also make like cards like Drago, Predapola and Drago Stapella. So yeah, obviously generic stuff like SP and IP and Apo. We're running the Dark Charmer. And also we're running Herald of Mirage Light because this deck doesn't really have any back row negation. Uh, this card's just generally pretty good to run here. So obviously you would set up your five negates because this deck can make five monster negates with Cranium Burst and Combined Creation on the field. So if you want to like some spell negation you can also make herald and then some other cards i was considering uh, underworld access code and typhon but obviously i'm still experimenting with the deck the deck's pretty new and i'm just still testing the ocg support but anyway guys let's show you a combo before ending off this video so guys and before this video ends we're just going to do a quick combo to show you kind of what you can do with this deck so this is a, just a random hand obviously so we're here we have one of the one card starters so we're just going to normal summon dark blade Use Dark Blade's effect to pop itself to summon out a Anguich. Now Anguich, because it's special summon, we can then add a copy of Zebra. Then Zebra effect, activate to special summon itself. And then use Zebra's effect to then dump to the graveyard. We'll do Sheep, Mace, and Goblin. And then we'll use Anguich's effect to then summon out the mace by destroying itself. And then we'll activate mace to pop itself to then grab our field spell. Oh, not our field spell, our fusion. And obviously as the fusion card, as we've destroyed one of our own momentum monsters this turn, we don't have to... Uh, what is it? We don't have to use cards on the field. We can use cards from the graveyard to special summon out. And obviously, we're going to go into our new OCG card, guys. This is why this card's so sick. Use this effect to then dump. And we will dump our... We'll dump our boss monsters because obviously we didn't open it. We would usually dump Cranium Burst as well, but we have it in hand. So we'll just dump Combined Conqueror and uh, Gartil like that. And then Gartil will activate in the graveyard because it was sent there. Special summon itself out. And then it will activate its effect to add to hand. And obviously this is really good synergy here. Because then we can activate Sheep's effect as well. To special summon itself out. And then use its effect to go into Twin Dragon. Obviously we have this in TCG right now. So we're chilling. And then we'll destroy itself. And then we'll add Horn Dragon to hand. Because why not? Good card. And then we'll also add a copy of Mace. Now we've done that, that will pop in hand, and we can simply special summon back Goblin. And then we can activate our Conqueror Engrave to grab our Field Spell. And then our Field Spell, activate that first. That is important. And then we can use the effect of our Fusion card, destroy Goblin. And we can add, but we can add, let's say, we've really got Bone Pie in hand, I'd usually add Bone Pie here. But we have it in hand, so we can get Fracture Dance as well. And then from here, we will first special summon out this bad boy. Special summon out this by returning boop, 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 and boop. Activate Bone Party here. Destroy that. And then we will... Push summon that bad boy out. And then that will trigger both the field spell and the horn. So we'll activate both. Switch summon out mace. And from here we'll go into our... Yeah, we'll go into IP here. Like that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was a bit slow on that combo. Sometimes you just gotta kind of cook the lines a bit. And then from here, we'll simply set both of these bad boys and then end the turn. And then our field spell can then get back our bone party. And there you guys, there's a combo. And look how, look how sick this board is. So we have an IP. We have Conqueror, which obviously has its effect to pop. We have five negates because while combined creation is on the field, we can activate our Cranium Burst to have, to have five months on a gate, guys. Now I'd say that is... Then we have our Fracture Dance. Sorry, if you control a Mental Monster, target one card on the field, destroy it. Then if you control Combined Creation, you can destroy one card on the field. When attack is declared, use your Mental Monster and your opponent's monster. You can banish this card from your grave. All monsters your opponent currently controls lose a thousand attack. So that's also pretty nice. That's why it's like it's nice running both traps. 
Obviously, we have Bone Pie and we also have Ash. And obviously, we run the hand traps as well. So, we have more negates on top of that. So, in the draw phase, we're not going to use our Bone Pie yet. We'll just, let's just activate our Chrome Burst, show you what that does. And then, I'll kind of show you. Obviously, this is the bottom bursting, but. So, if we really wanted to. I'll just show you. We'd use, just use. We'd usually uh, not do this here, but I'm going to just, just do it here to show you the effect. So, we're just going to just destroy itself and this. And then, we will then be able to special summon out. So, let's just special summon out. Uh. Horn Dragon, boom. And then from here, activate Bone Party. Because now we can destroy our Horn Dragon. And then use that effect to special summon out a Anguich. Use Anguich's effect. Use Combined Creation to special summon a monster. Use Horn, target three face of cards to fill, including a Mentor who can't destroy them. So here we could also destroy the back row. We're not going to, but. So I can actually show what the others do. So now we can special summon back our monster from combined creation. And then we'll add sheep to hand. And then sheep's effect to special summon itself out like that. Use that because now we can fuse into our twin dragon like this. And then use this effect to destroy itself. And then we can add mace to hand. And then also a, a start off the next turn. So let's just add Blade. And there you go, guys. So now we've added Mace to hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we can keep going. Spell Summon else. Special, just anything. Let's just do Anguish. So look what we've got now in hand, guys. Off of just that play on our opponent's turn we're playing. We've got Mace. And look at Mace's effect. If you control Combined Creation, obviously we do. Quick fate, you can discard this card and target one card of your opponent controls take control of it until the end of the phase so that is another form of, uh, of negation we still have the five negates that we haven't used we still have fracture dance to pop and we have ip so let's just show you now we can then use our ip to let's go into sp with these two and then boom look at that no fields well for you buddy and that's just how crazy that's how many negates we got five negates here destruction here destruction here destruction here <laughs> a uh Change of heart here, more negates in hand, like guys, this deck's crazy, and that's just kind of a combo. As you saw, I just freestyled that whole thing, so you know it's legit, and that's kind of... Obviously, the combos may not have been optimal, I'm still learning the deck, but I just thought I wanted to show you kind of the power of what this deck can do. So guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully, I may have convinced some of you to pick these cards up before I f they do go up in price. Now, this deck can do so much, guys, that I do feel like it's going to go up in price. So get it while you still can, you know, you watch your boy Cement Mix 72, so you know to pick this deck up. Also, I hope that combo's kind of demonstration wasn't too rough. As you see that how many negates we were able to put up, how much destruction, interruption, all that. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time. What's up?